and welcome to Horizon Overland. I'm super excited for today's video where I'm going to show you my latest build on the 2002 Chevy Suburban. Now I've made a video review of this rig in my previous video so if you'd like to learn more about the Suburban itself feel free to watch that video but for the purpose of today's video we're going to go over the level 3 camper build transformation I'm super excited to share it with you guys because in my opinion I think it's my best work yet. I always try to push the needle forward every time I work on one of these rigs. I try to come up with some new ideas and new layout and that's the case for today's video. This rig is going to actually be listed for sale so feel free to check out the website after you're done watching this video www.horizonoverland.com under the for sale section and you can get all the details about this particular rig. Without further ado, let's get started on the tour. All right, folks, so here it is. Uh, I'll start the tour with the outside. Again, I did make a more detailed review of this vehicle in my previous video, so if you'd like to learn more about the details of it, uh, feel free to watch that. But let me just go ahead and summarize. This is a 2002 ninth generation Suburban. It is a 1500 half ton. It is four wheel drive. This Suburban comes with the G80 rear lockers in the back as well as the auto ride suspension which is air suspension. This is a clean title vehicle, no accidents, only a two owner vehicle and you could see it's in really really good shape. So I decided to leave the exterior of this vehicle pretty much the way I got it. I didn't really uh, do any modifications. Usually I do a roof basket on top but I decided to leave the roof rack empty for a potential rooftop tent. So you could potentially have a four-person camper rig by installing a rooftop tent. Let's go ahead and check it out on the inside. Starting with the front. Now in my previous video I went over all the features that this uh, Suburban has but today I'm just going to go ahead and show you the transformation of the interior. In my previous video I also showed you that this lower seat cushion, the foam was missing a giant chunk as well as the cover itself was ripped. So you could see now we have a brand new cover, the foam is also brand new and I did do a DIY video on how to do it yourself. So feel free to watch that video. It is applicable for a 2000 to 2002 Suburban, Tahoe, Yukon, uh, Silverado, Sierra. Uh, these style of seats where the seat belt goes through the seat itself, uh, you'll be able to do it yourself by watching that video. But you can see the interior is in really, really good shape. This particular Suburban does have a sunroof. And the only thing I did up here is I installed a rear view monitor and then you basically manually turn it on and by doing that you'll have visibility in the rear. The reason why that's there is it replaces the rear view mirror and the view is as you can see in the video it's obstructed because we have a lot of uh, insulation, privacy insulation on the windows. So that's pretty much everything that was done up front. Let's go ahead and move on to the back. So this setup that you see, it's a four passenger setup. So you could see the captain chairs on the second row are, are still in the vehicle. Here you could see this thing does have a DVD player as well. So this is a kind of a cool feature uh, of this particular Suburban. But yeah, you could see everything is in really, really good shape. We do have a curtain now. Uh, it's removable. You could take the rod out if you need to, and then you can remove the whole curtain assembly. And this curtain, uh, you can go ahead and separate the driving area from the sleeping area whenever you're ready to set this thing up to become a camper. We also have, as part of the privacy, we have mesh sleeves on the windows. These guys are super effective to let air in as well as keep the bugs out on warm days. So that's pretty much everything up front. What I'd like to do now is go ahead and turn this thing into a camper. All right, so I went ahead and folded down the second row captain chairs. I pulled the curtain to separate the driving area from the camping area. I set up the mesh sleeves to create some privacy. And then here you could see the insulation on the windows. They can be removed, 
but these uh, are there right now to give you maximum privacy and kind of create a very nice and cozy uh, environment. Uh, this thing uh, is very unassuming. You cannot really tell that you're inside one of these, you know, if you decided to park uh, somewhere and just kind of go to sleep if you're on a road trip. Uh, this thing is very unassuming. Nobody would really be able to tell that you're inside because of all the privacy that you see. So that's pretty much the level three build. What a level three build is, for those of you who are new to this channel, it is a bed, a storage, and there's a rear kitchen in the back, and then we do have some electric capability, you know, solar, battery, and then we have a few outlets like DC outlets and AC outlets. And I'll go over those in just a second. But here you could see the entire platform sits where the third row seat used to be. So the third row seat is now taken out and then we have the removable uh, build in its place. Everything can be removed should you want to turn this thing back to a seven passenger uh, SUV. The third row seat will be provided with the sale of this vehicle. So let's go ahead and uh, go over some of the uh, features that we see up front. Up here we have a control panel. We have a DC outlet control panel where we have some USBs, uh, two USB ports. We have a 12 volt. We also have a battery a readout voltage monitor and then we have uh, the ability to turn everything on and off. The battery is actually a 75 amp hour AGM deep cycle battery and it is located under the hood. In here you see a storage compartment under the platform and then we have a folding table. Uh, it's a 2x4 uh, folding table that could be set up outside but also we have these portable solar panels. This is a very cool compact uh, package you see here and these uh, these solar panels are rated at 220 watts and the way you set these up is there's going to be an extension cord running to the solar controller which you see right there and then you could run it outside the vehicle place it somewhere further away if you'd like to park this thing in the shade and just move the panels to where the sun is. Today is a cloudy day, there is no sun, and we don't have the panels hooked up. On this side, we have the solar controller. You can see it's reading the battery voltage. It is connected to the battery, but it's not connected to the solar panels. Right next to it, we have an on and off switch for the inverter, which will activate this AC outlet. And what I'd like to do now is unfold the extension, lay out the mattresses, so you can get a better view of what the setup would look like. The mattresses have been laid out, as you could see, and the extension has been unfolded and it's now resting on the back of the second row captain chairs. This is a very sturdy setup. It will hold a lot of weight, no problem. Two people can sleep in here. You could see there's two mattresses. They're both about 25 inches wide. Now, one of the uh, upgrades if you've watched my previous builds usually I have one mattress that is just 48 inches wide uh, but here we have two and there's a really good reason for it we'll get into that in just one second all right folks so I went ahead and hopped inside to show you a brand new layout that I've never done on a suburban platform before uh, this is going to explain why we have two uh, individual mattresses instead of just one wide one. So let me go ahead and uh, demonstrate. The very first thing I'm going to do to create this new layout is I'm going to fold the mattress back just like this and just push it to the side. And now you can see we have access to two compartments underneath. The first one is the electric compartment. In here you will see your 1100 watt inverter, the bus bars, and a fuse box that powers all the outlets. Again, the battery is not located in here, it's actually located under the hood and the engine compartment. The second compartment is a giant storage area or now you have a floor to put your feet down 
to be able to sit on the edge of the bed, just like this. So the reason why I wanted to do this is because now you could stay in here, you could sit on the edge of the bed, and you are able to not really need to go outside because also we have another new feature on this build, a automated sink. You could see the faucet, the sink, easy access from inside the vehicle. And then when I turn it on, just like this, water drains into the sink, just like that. And then here you see a platform, a custom platform. Up here, it looks like a shelving unit. You could store some stuff up here and then the railings have been created to prevent stuff from spilling. But also if you flip this over, now you have a little table that, you know, you sit on the edge of the bed, you have a table, a nice flat surface area. You could work on your laptop in here. You can have some food. Uh, you could, you know, just use this table for whatever you think you need. And then it's all done from the comfort of being inside and not having to go outside. And then here's the fridge, also easy access. You could grab some food items, put them on this platform, have something to eat, and then wash afterwards. So that is a brand new layout that I did on this Suburban to not only uh, create an, an outside kitchen area, but also create an inside kitchen area. So when the weather is really cold outside and you don't want to go out, you have the ability to just stay in here and then have full access to the kitchen. Another really cool feature that I've added on this build is now we have a swivel light. You could see it's an LED swivel light, super bright. And then you could swivel it towards the outside if it's really dark and you need some lighting outside or you could have it be inside as well. And you could see plenty of lighting to light this area for you. On this side, we have a regular shelving unit, giant kind of a cubby area. You can put sleeping bags, pillows up here. And then down here, uh, it's just a opening to just, you know, use the bins that came with the Suburban. These are the side bezels. You could see you could store some stuff in here as well. And then an even bigger opening on this side. So plenty of storage on the sides, underneath the platform. And also when you flip this back, you have a shelving unit. So that's pretty much the inside layout. Let's go outside and see the kitchen area. Okay, opening the rear lift gate to check out the kitchen from the outside. So let me go ahead and talk about some of the upgrades that were done back here, starting with the automated sink, which is going to feature a stainless steel faucet that could be turned as well as laid on its side and then that way you'll be able to reach in and not knock it over it'll be easier to you know grab whatever you need from the inside we do have a stainless steel bowl uh, that has been sealed to this uh, wood platform that you see up here this wood platform has been treated to polyurethane uh, finish to protect against moisture and then there's sealant running all around the edges as well as around the sink itself to also prevent water from seeping in and uh, potentially warping the wood. Everything has been sanded to a smooth finish. You could see we still retain the natural color of the wood. You could see all this really nice texture to give it a quality look. And then obviously we have routed the edges to prevent uh, injury as well. Down here we have a opening. You have a little cap. When you remove the cap, you are able to fill up the containers that are located inside. One of them, you'd fill it up with uh, fresh water. So let me go ahead and show you the containers that are inside. We're gonna go ahead and open this cabinet. And then here you see the two uh, custom plastic containers. Each one of these is five gallons. This is going to be the fresh water again. We have the, uh, the fresh water outlet where you would fill up your five gallon container. And here's your five gallon uh, gray water. So all the dirty water that the, you dispense inside the sink 
will be collected in this container and then we have a faucet to drain the water. Now you notice that the faucet, obviously if you drain the water, it will spill all over the platform. We do have an extension, a hose extension to allow you to drain outside the vehicle. So that's pretty much the automated sink. Again, this is a brand new design for the Suburban that I've never done before. And I'm super, super excited about this one. Uh, here you see we, uh, we have access to uh, two items back here. The first one is the lock and unlock button to be able to lock and unlock the vehicle. And then also inside you have a 12 volt outlet. If you need it, this came with the vehicle, you'll be able to plug something inside. Uh, so you have access to that as well. This is also left open to properly vent the rear AC. This vehicle does have rear AC setup, so we want to keep those vents exposed. Here we see a drawer that does not look like a regular drawer that I always uh, designed back here. So let me go ahead and show you what this drawer looks like. So if I open it all the way out, you heard the clicking. Uh, that pretty much means that this drawer is locked in position. I can't really push it in unless I pull down on those tabs. These are heavy duty 250 pound ball bearing slides and they can be locked in two positions, halfway point and fully extended. But not only that, we're able to extend this drawer even further by uh, pulling out this platform right here that has the Coleman two burner propane stove sitting on it. So this is where the propane stove would be. We have a platform area for prepping, cooking, and then here is where you would do the cooking outside. On this part of the drawer, we have an opening that has a nice size storage compartment uh, as well. This is the 12 volt fridge. It's a 42 quart fridge. And then this is the outlet that you plug the fridge into as well as we have two USB uh, ports. So that's pretty much the level three custom build on this 2002 Suburban. So that concludes today's tour on the 2002 uh, Chevy Suburban, my latest version of the level three build with all the upgrades that you saw. To summarize, in my opinion, I think that these uh, Suburbans, the Suburban platform is super, super valuable, super versatile. You could do quite a lot with these rigs. Uh, you could obviously use them as regular SUVs, transport some people around. But also, as you've seen in this video, you could potentially have four individuals camp out of this rig. If you have a rooftop tent, you can have two people sleep on top and then two inside, as you've seen in the video. Uh, but not only that, you could do some uh, stealth camping if it's really cold outside or you're, you know, you're on a long road trip and you just want to kind of park somewhere and you just want to stay inside. You're able to do that with this current setup. But also you can have a full on kitchen outside if the weather is warm, you can kind of just have your layout, put the table in the back and just lay it all out, enjoy. Uh, these rigs are super comfortable for long road trips. This one has the air suspension, so it's going to be a very plush ride, but also it has four wheel drive with rear lockers so you can get to some remote areas to do some really cool wild camping. Like I said in the intro, this rig will be offered for sale, so feel free to visit the website www.horizonoverland.com to learn more about this rig. Uh, but also, if you'd like some work done on your Suburban, whether it be a 7th, 8th, 9th, even a 10th generation, uh, and you would like a similar setup or maybe some of my older setups, something a little bit more simple, Again, you can find all that information on my website under package levels. You'll see all the different packages that I offer, the level packages. I got level one, two, and three, and then you'd be able to learn more and kind of pick something that would work for you. These package levels can be customized to fit your own needs. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.